Tip number 12. Put useful nodes, screenshots, tables into schematic. I'm going to show you some examples and I'm going to explain why and how this can be important. This is an example of uh, one of our schematics and uh, maybe you noticed there are a lot of nodes. Always when we draw a circuit, we need to go through data sheets. Also, you have to go through data sheet, okay? And uh, always if there is something important in the data sheet, we place it into the schematic. So let's say we are drawing circuit uh, around this scan transceiver. What can be important about this scan transceiver? This, yeah. This is typical example of information from data sheet. If this pin is in low level, then the chip works in normal operation. If this pin is in high level, the chip is in standby. Why this is important? Because if uh, someone or when someone is uh, doing software for this kind of uh, chip, for this interface, they need to set the flex can one standby pin correctly. Okay, if this is not set correctly, interface is not going to work. This information is very important for everyone who is going to debug this interface. Because if it's not working, first what uh, maybe they would like to check is measure the level on this pin. Okay, then you can put there uh, also other kind of information about the circuit. A lot of times we put that information about how the components uh, needs to be fit for specific variant. For example, here you can see if you would like to use different transceiver, then uh, fit these chips and uh, fit this chip and fit these components correctly. Okay. Same here. Okay. I think you got it. So this is uh, one kind of information. The information from data sheet, information from uh, about the circuit, about the possible component uh, variants. The other kind of information what we put into schematic is something what uh, you or maybe other people may be looking for again and again and again. And it's a kind of information which uh, is not very easily accessible. Maybe you need to spend a couple of hours uh, try to find it. And uh, this is the typical example of this information. Yeah. Many people may use this picture because always everyone who would like to create cable for this jack, which is here, they need to know how it is connected. And, uh, you know, in the, in, on the internet, you can find a couple of different uh, connections and uh, you will not be sure which one is the correct one. So just place it into schematic and everyone will know exactly how they should connect it. And you need it a couple of times because you need this information when you draw the circuit, you need it uh, when uh, you are checking the schematic, yeah? And you need it when you will be creating the cable for yourself. Other kind of information which we normally place uh, into schematic can be useful uh, for software guys. And it's especially the information if uh, we change something comparing to reference schematic. So you have a circuit in reference schematic and we, we do it different way. Many times you need to do some changes in the software. Yeah, if there is software for reference schematic, you need to adjust the code to be able to run it on your board. So put there this kind of information. You don't have to write everything into schematic. Sometimes it's very useful. Just open data sheet and take screenshot. For example, if you if there is a table, this is very specific example. Booting. Okay. I didn't take screenshot of the booting table because this is very simple, but sometimes it can be, there can be a lot of options how your board can boot up, what are the specific settings of each pin. You don't have to 
write it, you can just go to data sheet, take screenshot and put the picture into schematic. It's going to be very useful. It's going to be useful for you because uh, after some time when you forget uh, why you did the, the things, someone asks you, you know, why did you place here this resistor? You just go there, there is a note and you can tell him. Yeah. Someone asks you how to connect or how to fit these specific resistors and these specific chips. Just read the note. Other people will uh, find it useful because uh, they don't have to ask you, especially the people who are going to use your schematic as their reference schematic. And the software guys are going to find it useful. Okay, so don't forget. Tip number 12, put useful notes, screenshot tables into schematic. Why? So you don't forget about important stuff and uh, you do not have to look for the information again and again.